people, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and if you watched part 1 of this tutorial on Python, then you'll know what I'm going to be talking about. That video was just how to set up everything, now we're going to actually start to get into programming with this episode. There's going to be a lot of stuff that we're going to talk about here. It's going to be like decently long, but without further ado, let's get on with the video. Alright, so as you can see in the last video, this exact same thing happened. So now it's time to start programming. In order to make a file, you click right here. You click new and you click python file. I'm just gonna name this my first project. Go. Now in order to actually print out text, in order to do this you have to type print, then you put parentheses, and then you can just sort of put um, uh, quotes in here. You can put like single or double quotes. And then you can type in whatever you want. I'm just going to type in hello world. And if you were to run it, it'll actually it'll show off, um, it'll say hello world on here, which is pretty basic. There isn't much right here, but single-handedly right now you can get qualified into any startup in the industry. There you go. Now you could also make variables. You might have learned about them in middle school, but I'm just going to show you how to make one. You can type it in f equals 4. And now you can print now in order to print out the value of of f, you can type in print. And then just type in an f. And but the issue is if you were to put this in in quotes the thing is, is that it'll just print out the letter F, but now if you were to run it, it'll print out hello world and then 4. And since that like F equals 4, it'll print out 4 right there. But we could also make this into a talking game. So you can type in uh, username equals input. And there we go. And now what we can do is we'll just type it in, we'll, print, we'll add a print, and then we'll just say hello, or hello in quotes, hello plus the input, or plus username, and then run it, and you can add your input. I'll say it says hello world. I'm just gonna add Frank. And I say hello Frank. We should add space in between. I'm gonna change this to what is your name? Now if we run it right now, I'll say hello, what is your name? Frank. It says hello Frank. And that's pretty much how you make one. But you can also add an if statement. If So as you can see what I've written out is it says print, it prints out what's your name, and it says username equals input, so um, it pretty much says hello plus username, so so like whatever your username is, it'll be added into there, it'll have, there's an if statement plus username, so it says if the username, this, e which the username equals input, so if username equals stuff, then it'll print out that's something, so if you play this, you'll type it in my name normal, but if you were to replay this and you would type it in stuff, it would print out hello stuff, that's something. Pretty much. So that's a pretty basic Python programming right there.